Juan Gabarro. Psychic yeah. Jojo Savard yeah. reads Vicky's chart. And she's always gonna have the last word. And if yeah. you, if you <laughs> I've never spoken to this woman before. <laughs> and the punters. El Rima, if you're willing to give it, I'm ready to take it. Now, with all the stars in her future, Vicky Gabarro. <laughs> Someone I've been looking forward to. Uh, we've known she was coming for quite a few weeks now. Uh, she is uh, Canada's most loved, most well-known astrologer and psychic. Please welcome from Montreal, Jojo Savard. <laughs> Over here, you keep playing, George, while we go. You no, you sit here, I'll go there. Okay, How are you? Wonderful. I love you, Nikki. Here, everybody. Thank you. Schluck. There you go. <laughs> Where's the dog? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a surprise as a oh. special guest. Oh, I see. So I shouldn't yeah. know about that yet? Doesn't matter. See, if I were psychic, I'd have known that. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. How psychic uh, are you as compared to, let's say, me, who isn't at all? Well, you know what, surprisingly, when I did your chart, because later on in the show, if you don't mind doing so, I will maybe uh, take a little peek into your soul. But right. you have a <laughs> Venus in Cancer and a Mars in Leo like me. Right. That's very rare. That means you're a perfect fruit. It means <laughs> with this lady is Thomas. <laughs> he knows that, you right? Know. <laughs> it means what you see is what you get, and what you get you don't forget. That means you are exactly outside what you are inside, and there's a genuineness in your personality. But not only that, it means that your intuition and your mind, it means the power and the energy, and also the delicateness of heart is in perfect harmony. It means you're a friend to have. Yes, so I'm like the perfect little person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this is very good at the thought of being the perfect little person. Yeah, yes, you thank you so yeah, much, Jojo, because, you, you know, if I ever was doubting this or uh, had any sort of you know, weird feelings about uh, the abilities of the psychic and the astrology, I believe it now completely. Don't you have intuition? Come on. No, if sometimes you follow I, your hunches, you, you're always right. I don't know. Sometimes uh, I think... Uh, gee, I haven't seen old uh, Fred Koshevoy for a thousand years, mm -hmm. and old Fred Koshevoy turns up. Ah. Oh. This is the, and but you we know, all do that, don't we? Nah, nah. Some yeah. people, no, some people don't use it. Right. We live in a society right now where rational is, and the mind and the power of the thinking is, is important. And I think we're entering an era right now that will allow people to realize it's spirit over matter. We are what our thoughts are. We create our matter by the kind of soul we are. So if you keep the good intentions and you keep the heart at the right place, you could never, never be wrong. And that's what you represent. This is why you're here. Yeah, this yeah. is why I'm an okay. honor. It's, a, it's, enough about, <laughs> it's enough about me, although I'm certainly rolling around <laughs> in it, I must say. Uh, but speaking of rational, uh, I mean, honest to God, there are, most people in this world don't think that uh, people who profess to have psychic, ability to, uh, psychic abilities are rational. They think you just make it up and sometimes you get lucky. Now, how are you going to convince me otherwise and everybody else? I mean, what is it that's going on in your brain? I think uh, uh, we all have a left brain, a right brain. Some people uh, use more the left, some people use some the right brain. Psychic people are people who are not rational at all. As a matter of fact, they don't follow the root of the logic and of the mind and the rational. They go more by a truth which is inside. You know that hunch that you have in your belly, that feeling you have when you meet someone and you hmm. know there's something wrong? If everybody more or less has a psychic ability, like everybody has a mind and a cap capability to think, analyze, and to, to, to rationalize things, but not everybody uses this at, at the same level. So a psychic is somebody, somebody who's just more of a certain kind of a, a brain than the other, who will go more by the heart. It's, a, it's a somebody who's a heart expert, while the other people are more mind experts. Well, tell me this. Why does it take on such showbiz proportions? Why is it always so flamboyant and so... I mean, you're very glamorous and you wear stuff on big pink clothes and... and <laughs> <laughs> I call that Don't love. do that too hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what, why is it that uh, this world seems to be covered in sort of 
glam. Glam is love. Glam is to be able to communicate. Glam is saying, I am here on this planet and I love myself and I'm going to express myself to the fullest. Although there are some people who are more conservative and that's how they express themselves. Mm. There's some people, if I went to show business, actually it's very funny because my story, I wanted to become like a, some kind of a, not a guru, but a, some kind of a great, maybe, counselor in a nice, beautiful place in New York and advise people to achieve things. TV just happened. Everything just keeps happening. So the universe eventually has a calling for you, and you just follow through spontaneously. And that's what I did. It just happened. I was going to New York to open up a nice center and try to get a clientele and advise right. people with their lives. It turned out to be some, some TV station called me because I had done some psychic reading to a, a chef d'orchestre, a, a musician, like mm. when I was 18, who said, oh, this girl is great. She comes, I just came from India for three years. I went to have a master's degree in astrology. I went to get the rational part of the psychic to convince myself, if I have it, it, recognized by the greatest, which is Indian people. So what I realized is I had it all the, all the way. So I did study rational to be convinced that I, I had the gift anyways. And maybe to remind everybody that everybody is loving. Everybody has a potential to do anything they want. Everybody is allowed to be on the planet Earth and has its own place, its own purpose. Everybody is beautiful in its own way, but everybody has to go learn. We're all here. Real home is the stars. The real home is where we come from. Here is like a university of crystallization of the spirit. So we all go to different experiences and all mistakes, all enemies, all problems, they're all blessings in a way when you look at them with the eyes of the soul and the, and the heart. So our job as a psychic, when people call or me or some people are not even in psychic business per se, they're home doing a consultation. What do they usually do? They put people back on the track of the heart. They put people back in the self-empowering saying, okay, usually most people even know the answer, except they need a mirror, a mirror effect of somebody objective that will not judge. Yeah, but Jojo, when you uh, put up the uh, ad on yeah. the television and you have your hair like this. Yeah. I, the first time I saw it, I thought I'd fall off my chair. I couldn't yeah. believe I'd never yeah. seen anybody like you That's in it. my whole life. I'm a fairy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I'm so a fairy. I guess that must be it. Anyway, yeah. the, you put the phone number underneath and it says if you call this number, you'll get a psychic and they yeah. will tell you. And, you know, my, I, I've never done it because, you know, why do they know sitting in a, in a place, uh, not Saskatoon, okay, Richmond, somewhere, and they're answering the phone and they're going to tell me how I'm going to clean up my life. You know, what is it? Just you not pay to clean up. like five bucks yeah. a minute to yeah. wine to somebody or just to it's vent. You know what it is? It's in the privacy. Nobody, you could be anything. You could be as old as you can. You could be as crazy as you can. You could have mistakes. You could have problems. You could be a winner. We have clientele that call just for predictions. We have a clientele that calls because they have, they need a Band-Aid on their pain. Yeah. And they're worried and they're paranoia and they're going crazy. Where is the option in society? Unless you go to a psychologist, a psychiatrist that's going to take you three months to get an appointment where you could reach out in the privacy of your home. And you know what? Success usually speaks by itself. There's no one in the world you have like two, three, four hundred millions of people that call those services unless they really like It's an option. Right. It doesn't mean that all the psychics are perfect. It doesn't mean the service is perfect. But do you know anything, any service in the world, even medicine or legal or anybody who's perfect you know okay no i think you make a point and i think the point is that if it does make a difference it works if it doesn't make a difference people are not going to pay and here in canada contrary to united states because i had both markets is that it's a it's a 10 minute limit which is great and it's the only country in the world that makes a limit so people if they like it they have to call back so they know they're not going to spend more than 50 dollars yeah. and if they like it they're going to continue to talk and some people they they call once a week some people once a month but let's say you have a contract to sign you have a plane to take uh, and you don't have a mommy or or a friend or a, a best uh, uncle that could say, you know, to, to be that objective. So you have a, a, an objective, non-judging, loving person that is there to help out. Jojo? Yes. We have to sell something yes. now. Yes. I'll be right back with Jojo <laughs> Samara. <laughs> I knew that you'd have a dog that looked like that. I, I, I didn't think that you'd have some, you know, like uh, Akita dog or something. But that's I very... like all animals, but I have to admit her, it was a love story. I saw her in LA. It was a Chinese lady who had her. I said, this is my dog, and she's part of me. This is not your dog. And it turned out to make a very story short that I gave her my business card. 
Three months later, she called me and she says, well, my, my father uh, has a problem in, in China and I'm considering maybe selling her. And I said, I told you, I knew it. It's like my husband. I, I saw him, that was it. That's mine. Fini. This is my soulmate. Did he have any choice? <laughs> no, he didn't. He was like... <laughs> well, no, I think they felt the same. And her, we had the connection. The first time I took her and I, I put her near to me, Aww. we just had the connection. They heal us, eh? Yeah. They heal the body and cats, what they do, they heal the soul. So we need animals around us. But That's she's, what I she's very sweet, but she's, she's about to take a chunk out of Bob, which I thought... She doesn't bite. Didn't have she that doesn't on the camera. Woof, woof. No, no. She's just woof, perfect. Woof, woof, woof to me, though. Yeah, she's a perfect fruit like you. Yeah. <laughs> very big, big. You yeah. know what? I'll tell you, everybody. She's three million years old, this lady here. <laughs> but I've had a lift. <laughs> People with a heart at the right place don't need a lift. It just yeah, gives it to you naturally. Three million years yeah, old. Yeah, Honey, and your I feel it, too. <laughs> oh, you don't know. I can't wait for nah, Christmas. You know, three million years old, they become babies again. That means they never grow old. Tell me this. Yes. When you have one of these things, this is a crystal ball. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> when you look in there, do you use it? I mean, you don't see like a car come in my new Maserati or anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, what, is it meditative? Is that why you do it, to stare at it or what? Okay, you see... Everything in the universe is energy. Everything is invisible. We all know now, thank God to Einstein, that the slower energy, it's more invisible to our senses. The more the energy travels quicker, it becomes visible to our senses. But our life is not only limited to what you see in the senses. It is the invisible spirit world that creates and manifests in the physical world. Everything is in process to crystallize. We come here to crystallize the spirit and everything is in process to crystallize. We love diamonds. We love crystal balls. This is not a real, real McCoy. This is, no, the vibration is not the greatest. This is a fake arama. Yeah, it's, uh, no, it doesn't, it de my crystal ball, when I touch it, this oh, is so this is not on. yours. No, this is this one is we, brought, we had to brought in and special. And the energy is, it's, it's okay, but it's not the real, real McCoy. That okay. I would work with this. But what it does, you see, everything is light. We crystallize like a diamond, and we're supposed to shine the light. And this is why we have no choice eventually just to love and love and love. That's the answer. So when I connect to my loving spirit, which I am, we all are, I just go into the light, and I go in the crystallize. This is a, a stone, a mineral that crystallized to a crystal, close to a diamond. So therefore, I have a connection, and it has a connection with the universe. So usually, you have a vision. You will have images, because the imagination is the juice of God. And the juice of God is the thoughts that we get. So the, what is psychic that develops, that psychic? I'm not a real expert, expert. I do it sometimes with the full moon. I'll do it with there's an eclipse. I'll do it with family members. Is the but Maserati in there or not? You could have, uh, you, you, know, <laughs> you could have a Maserati, but I don't think that's your true purpose. You're, you, you're right. a Maserati of love and, and making a difference in your world. I think this is much more the kind of Ferrari that you, what you you're are. You're my new best friend. Ah. <laughs> Joe Josephar, yeah. you stick around. Yes. So the American press called her Astro Barbie, which I think is really a great title for you. You should put it all over the place. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. going to put on, the, because we're going to be having a, an internet situation very soon that people could reach me and all that stuff. And uh, I think I'm going to maybe use that. Astro uh, Barbie, what? this is what I am. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> you listen, you, uh, many years ago, you had a terrible accident, yeah. you, like 20 well, years 20 ago. 20 years old. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, you uh, nearly got killed. Yeah, near near their experience. Yeah, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Three three months in a coma. And, oh really? Uh, yeah. yeah, and you know what the worst? They, three you know months what, in a coma. Th three three weeks. I'm so oh. sorry. Yeah. You know what? There's a machine, and if you go back like 20 years ago, they put the um, they, they know, huh? You have no more heart. There's no heartbeat. They put the, the the sheet on you and they send you. They put you in the thing and they put you downstairs. I was in the process of going downstairs in the elevator. They put me in the where the corpse are, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I woke up there. And I went, I screamed, ah, because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but I had been what you call traveling. My I'm, rose I'm gonna, is I'm going to cement that okay, thing. You know what? I'm going to shluck it, it here. Yeah. Here are my beauty. It'll never fall <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And uh, it was, no, it was, uh, you know what it is to wake up under a sheet and no. you've been declared dead? It's, no. it's, a, a, it's an experience you don't want to hear. Yeah, if you're <laughs> <laughs> But you know that when we sleep, we do die a little bit. I see the soul travels during the, the night. That's what happens in the dream state. Give oh, me no. that bloody rose. We're going to float it there. A floating rose, yeah, everybody. Right. All right. I'll give you another one. <laughs> okay. So anyways, uh, you know, and it was my first, what you call, out-of-body experience. I knew I could do it because I had a prediction with my brother when I was little, and I had contact with him. I had told my mother that he would pass away, and he did. But I'm, I'm going to go more on the other story. 
This is where I found out that I would never judge anybody for the rest of my life. I would never put a, 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 say anything bad about anybody in my life. And I realized that truly we are uh, loving beings. When you go on the other side, me as far as I'm concerned, I went to heaven. That's exactly what I believe. And I think certain people, according to what they believe, because people will realize that thought creates matter. Well, I realized that th there's a part of us that is truly a spirit, and we go in, like in a car. It's like This is like a, a bottle, and the, the, the soul goes into the bottle, it puts the corks on it, and then you have to live like not knowing what's going on. It's like you would take a, a drop of the ocean, let's say, the ocean is all a bunch of drops interconnected. So what they do, God, he takes one of those drops, puts it in the bottle, close the top, and throws it back on earth, and then we ferment. And then we go back to the ocean, we're crystallized. And this is what I realized. We are spirit, we are loving, we're connected to something so great and wonderful. My faith in God, I became a, a freak faith person. I, I believe, I talk to God every morning. I was doing that all the time. But I knew that I was his kid. Well, like everybody else in is. Quebec. <laughs> But my father was a seaman. Yes. So we would travel all over the world. All so right. I ended up going all kinds of places. That's nice. Very little. I learned English when I was like five years old. I went to Spain. I went to Paris. I went to, to, to Maroc. I went to Africa, Gabon. I went to... My father used to bring us all kinds of places. So it was you a sure universal training. <laughs> I do. Uh, I do have that... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my Venus and Cancer. Okay. Oh, that <laughs> must be what it is. But I could... It, it, it was the first... This is where I decided this is it. I could have done anything in my life. I knew I could do anything I want. I could have, uh, and I've decided I'm going to go and find out more answers about astrology, more answers about the occult, more answers about the metaphysical, more answers about the spirit. What are we doing here? And everybody at some point Good in their life. Good question. What are we doing here? <laughs> now, yeah, I guess we're not going to do this. Yeah. Uh, should we have time to do this? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, we'll be back. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, we're going to do it after. Yeah, okay. yeah, we'll do the end then. We'll do it. Okay. Like this. Okay. I tell you what, I'm not entirely sure this is the moment I've been waiting for, but uh, go, okay, go. Okay, perfect. Number one, I'll, I gave her titles, I gave her her great, greatest qualities and some weaknesses, okay? But it's all positive. She's a Gemini dog. It means her song is, don't worry, be happy. Because although she's a powerhouse and a human dynamo, sometimes she tends sometimes to worry and she likes details. But she doesn't like rules. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to clap about. <laughs> worry, worry, worry. She, she doesn't like rules. She, yeah. she was a little girl, but she learned to work with them because she knew it was the way to succeed. Am I right or not? Uh. Okay. She's a queen of heart because that means what you see what you, is what you get, I said before. She's a duchess of loyalty and integrity. And although she looks like a powerhouse, I have good news for you. She's a little baby girl inside. Yeah. She's a diaper. Yeah. And she's no. going to be like this. <laughs> not yet. No, no. <laughs> you have that childlike quality that everybody adores. And my prediction for sure is that your show that had started like almost two, two years now, mm. you oh, have yeah. longevity. People yeah. got addicted. <laughs> I just wanna, can I ask something? Yeah. Is it say I'm a little bitchy? <laughs> it, no, no. You, no, you have a good, because your power, you have a super, you're, you have a Uranus in Gemini, it means you're brilliant. You have genius spark. But you know, she's so humble. If you do have co oh, compliments, please give her the compliments. It's hell being humble but like this. You, you know how I called you? The flower of discernment. You know you, what your quest oh, in life is God. true. <laughs> you like to know the truth. You go, yes, like, you want to go do. to the bottom of it. But you know what? You're kind. You will never be generous. Be, be, no, yeah, I see. Yeah, <laughs> and she's always gonna have the right, the last word. And if yeah, you, yeah. if you scream at, <laughs> I've never spoken to this woman before. <laughs> if you scream to her, or you're rude, or you don't use the heart to convince her, you're dead. She can blast everything, and everybody's gonna have a heart attack. Is it true or not? Yeah, you it's so not. right. No, You're no. so right, and, dear. Uh, I think it's oh, me's over now. You I don't think. like changes, okay? <laughs> and another thing is that also there's money coming in your life in '99, so there's honors. You're gonna be receiving. So something. I'll be rich. And divine. And you'll give both. <laughs> well, you are already. You are. <laughs> Bob's going to throw the umbrella. You know, that's, what he, that's his technique with me. You'll make money, <laughs> and everybody's going to get a bonus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's enough of this. I didn't
Sayer, I swear to God. Uh, I'll just is keep it that. Is yeah, 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 that's for you. Oh, yeah, sure. No, no. Uh, the part about I'm a saint is okay. good. It's good, yeah. Now you you have the heart at the right place. That's okay. why this show's going to be on for a long time. Oh, I'll and never retire. Okay. You wanted to ask a question. What is your yeah. name? Darcy. Hi, hey. Darcy. And yeah. I'm wondering, does it ever become overwhelming, the energy you experience, and can you block it, and how do you do that? Okay. If you, uh, a little trick is that, first of all, you have to be the master of your destiny. You, you have all the powers within yourself, and you, the more you give, the more you receive, and what goes around comes around. It's so, it's so extraordinary. That's the way it is. But if you do have an experience of bad energy, what you do, you surround yourself with a white light, and you say nothing negative could ever touch you. So if you feel somebody put a spell on you, or you, have, you feel somebody is trying to do something negative to you, and if you want something to happen in your life, the power of visualization is extremely important. Use your thoughts to create your own destiny. You become what you believe and what you think. And the power of the white light, Except that everybody, of course, is that a yes, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could do, you could, if you think positive and you want to be the master, you could do anything you want. You are your own boss. You only need me if you wish and if you so desire to be your mirror and maybe inspire you to give you more knowledge about your self power. Was that the question? I, no, okay. I, I, no, I do think the question, and Good. you can just say yes or yeah. no, does this ever wear you out? No. Okay, fine. Next. No. Um, <laughs> See, think this somebody else. Yeah, Quick, please. take this. Please. Yes. <laughs> I was wondering if yeah. you can see or read auras. Okay. What? 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 Uh, yeah. You have lavender. It means uh, you have a, a little. You have lavender with blue, which means that you you there's a part of you that's very mindy, and what a part of you is intuition. But although I think the last two years emotionally, there's something in connection with your 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 youth that you've you've worked with that allows you now in 98 at the end of 98 to get ready for 99 there's a conquest of the of the emotions it means that if you follow your emotions rather than the mind you particularly you're always going to you always know and i know that since you're little you know anyways don't you but then you go through some emotional connection about something when you were little and now the woman in you is like trying to affirm and you're there now in 98 you guys ah, keep you guys keep talking. Okay. I'm going somewhere else now. <laughs> I love Jojo, you. Jojo, I love you. I love, I love you. you. I love you. you. <laughs>